Viewers and subscribers, today I want to talk about Barrington Levy getting a stroke and his son speak out on the whole situation. Movada sends out a warning after someone stole something precious from him. Mackerel gets bashed after fans declare that she's lying about her new boyfriend. So the first thing I want to talk about is the rumors that circulating about Icon Barrington Levy getting a stroke. So the article says, dancehall Icon Barrington Levy had a stroke singer's son speaks and reports a rumor has surfaced recently that veteran dancehall singer barrington levy had suffered a stroke with the upsurge of the chatters fans everywhere sought answers far and wide regarding barrington levy's death to dispel the rumors nero levy son of barrington levy took to me to reassure fans that his father is healthy and well in an interview with the observer nero levy said i can't disclose any information as it relates to that because i don't know of that rumor i don't know of anything like that i just talked to him and he is in good health as far as i know nothing like that is true nero is a disc jockey at the portmore base radio station sun city radio this is not the first time that a rumor has surfaced that the dancehall veteran was facing medical complications the last such story was in 2018 when levy said in a viral video that he had a virus the video was also captioned give thanks to god give thanks to health give thanks to world peace give thanks to the love you all give me but i have the virus dancehall fans were quick to speculate that he have hiv or aids and in no time it started a rumor however the rumor was soon cleared up by the artist who said that his virus was the love and statement in the viral video was to promote a single he was working on barrington levy is one of the most celebrated voices in dancehall and is even called the golden voice of dancehall music he's renowned as the first original singer of the dancehall era and is regularly called reggae's mellow canary because of his vocals levy is also known for classics like black roses murderer here i come vice versa love and to experience all right people so for those of you who did kind of worry about barrington levy he doesn't have a stroke that a way him son say so i mean we'll forgo with that and people need to stop spread them kind of rumors they upon the artist them because at the end of the day if it was your father you wouldn't like people fear spread them type of rumors there not saying that it couldn't be true you know because no man in this world is immune to sickness but at the end of the day we don't really want them negativity as surround the artist you understand getting a stroke is not a good thing as sometimes it can cost your life you understand what i mean say so the artist is good and he's in good health him son come out and talk that i'm gonna feel like say him son just a make up that because you know sometimes things can happen to the artist you know but the family members them don't want it to be out there or go out there in the public so them just say oh them good and them all right and i like a barrington levy come and do the interview but for some reason i believe him son i'm gonna feel like the artist all right you see me same way them saying that the article said last time um people did a spread rumors from barrington levy saying they have hiv and aids and all of them thing that even though that was kind of barrington levy fault because he came out and made a video saying of the virus no when you tell people say you have the virus obviously people are gonna start think negative and you know that are gonna be the first thing they are gonna start say you have hiv virus it's what man say for some reason that is the most common thing to come to a person's mind so you don't know say in that sense but in this one here now people just start spread the rumors upon the artist i mean barrington levy one of our veteran artists the man we want him for their own for as long as possible you understand the message viewers and subscribers so but just come for up the people who are worried if Barrington Levy did get a stroke you know you have concerned fans out there who genuinely check for the artist them and you know them just want to know so them artists all right so there you have it Barrington Levy is in good health good strength and also in good spirits all right so make a move into the second topic right away so the article says Movada calls for the return of stolen custom Nike shoes Movado is calling for the return of some very special night kicks that were stolen from him. The dancehall entertainer is demanding the return of his one-of-a-kind custom Nike sneakers which were recently stolen. Over the weekend, Movado took to Instagram to post a photo of the unique pair of kicks 
which were presented to him following his collaboration with Nike to celebrate Asafa Powell records run of his 9.77 in 2008. Someone stole my shoes and I want it back. Okay, this shoes here is a part of history. It was when Nike first recognized dancehall music and how great I am and I want it back. And he tagged Asafa. The DJ captioned the post. According to the DJ, he is not willing to part ways with the standout kicks, which sports his name encrusted in Map of Jamaica and also features the name of his hometown community of Cassava Peace. However, it seems the DJ's pleas have sparked mixed reaction from fans online, which many claiming that the DJ is simply looking for attention, while others found humor in the alleged theft. One person said, the man try everything in the books for get a forward back in the business, shake my head. While another joked, the last time shoes lost, a lizard dead. The hilarious comments did not end there, as one fan went to accuse his former affiliate footer hype of stealing the kicks, to which the veteran disc jockey quickly clapped back. Me did get my own pair, so don't try style it. Despite some of the more comedic responses, it seems some fans were also genuinely sympathetic towards the DJ's loss, with one fan saying, Jano, how them for do that? Take away the gully god history piece. In recent weeks, Movada has managed to stir up quite a bit of controversy on social media after recently posting a video of his 2008 clash with longtime rival Vibes Cartel, seemingly in an attempt to reignite their feud. Alright, so what do you think about Movado and his rant? You see me? Basically, I call out somebody for stealing custom Nike shoes. And I go around here, when I see that post here, I kind of take it as a joke. You see me? I wonder if I some comedy thing because I never know say, the shoes them actually mean so much to him. But you don't know say, everybody have something where you just say it's a part of history because it has to deal with one of the sports where Jamaica most recognized in. Her. You understand what I say? And that's track and feel. So you don't know, say, Golly God just a rant and all the people over there clown him and a lot of persons even feel like say, Movado a look a hype back in the business. Now, would you agree with that or you feel like say, Movado genuinely, you know, warm about the shoes them or you feel like say, them no last, him just a put it out there so people can just give him some form of attention. Now, honestly, people, me not feel like Movado need to do anything for attention. You understand? It's not like Movado don't have a career or it water down or something. Me, you see me, my father still a doing thing, and the man still a get shows. The man a making money same way people, so I don't know still. But I feel like true my father, that's why all the people are take shots at him. But you know, say Golly God is a man don't really post on social media. And from the last what two weeks or so, I see him make peer posts. So I don't know if Golly God up to something if we, if he might come out with some new music. Because anytime I see an artist start do something different than what he normally do, I watch him closely. If you see if him up to something, you understand what I say, people. But I don't know still, the kicks them look alright in a them time there. More don't really rap them to be honest. And I'm my type of thing, them that. But you don't know, say, my father just want them as a, where they call it now. You know, like them thing the way you frame, like a little antique or whatever you call it, you see me? But we have to just watch and see if Gully God I go get back him shoes, you understand, people? Bring back the man's shoes and don't make my father get mad enough to put up an exposed car. You know, so golly God no play with people already. But people, what do you think? You don't feel like some mother the need to try to find a hit song. Because I don't go around and still as much as I rate mother the, a good little while, we don't really get no hit hit song. I don't talk about the one where I come out with what they name flammable or flammable. I don't talk about a real hit song like I'm so special. You remember them song there? Yeah, a long time we don't get something like that to rap the whole place. I don't know still, maybe mother the have something in the pipeline. And I think him did a shoot a video or something with DJ Khaled you know. I'm not sure but I'm sure I did see him put up something with DJ Khaled and you don't know say DJ Khaled that do theme thing Movado signed to We The Best and some people feel like say Movado shouldn't make that move there because DJ Khaled himself a try build him career and a try build Movado career at the same time so you know say them say don't sign with an artist even though DJ Khaled is not really an artist because him don't rap but you know him have him own albums and him projects so him himself signed to a record label while him have his personal record label where him sign other acts like him did have a youth name Ace Hood where him did sign and him did have well him have Movada as me say and I think him have couple more people I 
don't really remember, but sometimes them say it's not good for sign with somebody who signed to another company because them can't pay attention to you. And I think we said that really happened to Movada because DJ Khaled, him not the whole heap of songs with Movada, but nevertheless, Gully God still set him name before him even signed to DJ Khaled. You see what I'm And the next thing is, I see some people say Movada try to bring back the Gully Gaza clash. I don't feel like that thing I do, you know. When Movada do a brag, both film status in a dance hall because maybe my father feel like say people now give him the respect where him deserve and that is true so the man just put up the post with cartel and a show say yo who no not remember say i mean him golly god and me step go up on the gaza bars you understand me never afraid of the buckle i think that is one of the main thing where my father me couldn't know say him not afraid of people none at all you understand me as viewers and subscribers so yeah i forgive my father them respect and he's an artist where Boy, for me, I'm definitely in a the top five best artists in a Jamaica right now. Even though I'm not have the biggest hit songs, them, but Movado will always be Movado. Just like how Vibes Cartel will always be Vibes Cartel. Anyway, viewers and subscribers, leave in the comments and let me know what you think about this. Alright, so on to the final topic. So yesterday I posted a video about Mackerel. Cause you know Mackerel kinda of gone back into the spotlight now that she so called claim says she have a new boyfriend. So you know say so Mackerel put up a post where she basically a professor of love for her man and he might write back to her and back and forth and so forth. So Mackerel put up a post and a lot of persons, I guess them go investigate the post and come to realize say uh, something she copy off of the internet and paste it in. Now from me see that me know say boy. I definitely some scheme thing Mackerel and this guy here up to and I just a wait for them to come and admit it you understand I also hear another rumor a go around say the guy married and all of them things there so that even even though that is just a rumor still you know I don't see no proof or evidence say married but I just a show you say people are investigate the whole thing so right now I just a kick back and I watch Mackerel I get fry by her own fans them you see me because once you put something upon the internet you know you can't take it off back, you know. So, Mackerel, if you know, say right now, anything where happened to her, based on what she put out, I fear her fault. You understand me, I say, people. But, Mackerel, an entertainer, yeah, man. Nobody can really take Mackerel serious. And, you know, it's a girl where I try, she try every way. Well, in my eyes, she try everything and in every way for remain relevant. And, you can't blame her because, in this industry, we as Jamaicans, and we have to admit this, we move on fast from people, we easy forget get tired of people if we see you too much we get tired of you if we don't see you enough we forget about you so mackerel of kind of i guess she have to know when to put out something for make people talk about her and i think in this case she have everybody to talk about her seeing everybody to talk about her new man or so-called man or whatever people go investigate film background and find out things say him not even too long get married which is when me hear like maybe a few months ago four five six i don't know but recently you understand what i say so him is a musician as well so maybe a him are the one where i try look the boss in the business but the last man we try to use Mackerel to get a bus, which is the same Obi man who me even talked about in the last video. Ask me why I'm to him now. Who a check for music them? Nobody not check for music them. So sometimes the best way for bus in the industry is real way. Don't try to deceive the people them because at the end of the day, them forget about you faster than fast food. You understand what I say? So just come with some good music. And right now, yes, we know the social media they bought. You know if you have no whole heap of talent for bus. But I think there is just something about Mackerel where kind of holy people them same way. Out of all of the persons them where we see bus via social media, Mackerel are the last standing right now. Ask more bully beef there. Ask more candy wow there. Um, who else did there? Holy part of the people there. The scene where done dead out and you understand what I mean? So we don't know which part of them gone right now. So Mackerel. I feel know what she had do right now and love her sound I feel just make she put out more music if she really want to take the music thing serious and love the gimmicks it's either she going to be a gimmicks person or she going to be a musician she put out the song a summy and the song the sound good enough people still couldn't believe say a mackerel put out a song like that including myself vibes cartel repost it you know say it was written by shano them need to make shano write a next song for her so she can continue upon the artist part because we see she kind of relapsed to the gimmicks thing right about now and you can't have both of them look upon spice spice not really going with no gimmicks thing a full artist 
this, that. So as an artist, you have to just choose which one you want to be. That's why some of them artists are come on social media and cuss the people. Them. What you see happen to them? Look on Gullibap. Gullibap, they turn vlogger one at a time. What we see happen to him? Him just fade away. So you have to choose where you want to be. So right now, my advice, love a sound for tell McQuill, say, yo, you know, stay focused. Me could put out some good music. Try to even get a collab with one of the top artists them who are the place. If I even squash her one of them personally, you understand me? I say, cause from song sound good, the people them react to it, the disc jockey them will play it, and people will even purchase a song on iTunes and Amazon and all them something there. So Macquill just need to stay focused and everything what she want will just fall in place, you see me? But people, me know a lot of women did get tricked because I read some of the comments them and people are say, so what? She a human being. She can fall in love to one thing yes we know so she can't fall in love you know but is how this thing I just come about she and the man there for one year and the first we are here about it just a couple days ago so you tell me say Macquilla keep him a secret for basically 12 months because it's on the day of them anniversary she post up that something there you understand what I mean? I say, and right now me even click on the link where she did post tonight and I could have find him now when me click on the link it's like him page gone it delete her I don't know if I change him change him name because a lot of persons are born him out same old same could have be her father and her and thing, but Macquill at 18, so I mean, mother says she reached the age of consent. You understand the message? Because some girls feel like when they reach that age, you can't tell them who to talk to. So even if she did a talk to him and him at 40, there's not nobody can do about that because she don't reach a certain age. But you know how oh, some Jamaicans stay. Them now go look on it that way to them. I go say, yo, go look at woman your own age and leave the little girl alone. And worse, Macquill is a person where you know sometimes she act. Boy, I'm not really want to look like me at this time. I'm not this time, you know, people, but sometimes she act a bit. Like, you know, like you lose a screw. Yeah, one and two times she act that way. So, some people feel like, say, man, I go try to take advantage of Macril. But leave in the comments and make me know what you think about this. My best suggestion is Macril need to focus on the music or focus on gimmicks. It's either she want to be a comedian or she want to be a dancehall artist. You can't be both because we see whole heap of people try it. And it no work out for them. And I can call many more artists apart from Gullibap name who try it and it no work out for them. You see me? Remember Cargo are one of them with the turn of vlogger as well. And it never work out for him. Anyway, viewers and subscribers, leave in the comments and let me know where you think about this. Also, let me know when you think about the rumors where that circulate about Barrington Levy and Movado sending a serious warning to the perpetrators who stole his custom Nike here. And people, don't forget to go follow me on Facebook. I'm going to pin the link in the comment section. So just click the link, go over there and give me a support. You see it?